Hello everybody, welcome back to another hated video. In this video, I'm finally going to be playing the latest Potato Day event that we did see in the Daily News. And it's finally here in the game today, so if I come over here to the event board, you guys can see Potato Day, another 18 hours left. By the way, I love the poster with the blue background. It's so aesthetic for some reason. We have Mr. Pig, the chef, holding a plate, just having a plain potato. Okay, so let's read the caption. Ready to get spectacular? It's all about potatoes today. Farm visitors will be looking for potatoes, potato dishes, and other potato-based treats. They're paying extra coins for them, so let's get those potatoes ready. All right, this seems a little fun. Now, at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you guys all the potato products that we currently have in the game so that you have an idea of what they're going to ask. So let's just um, get started with my game. Now, I think this is the third sort of event we're having like this. We had a muffin event, which I played, and, and then we had the peanut butter jelly event, I think. I mean, I missed it. I didn't play, but I think those were just the two uh, we had. Okay, so, and I'm sure there's going to be like more in the future. Let's plant some crops. I think I'm just gonna go with some corn over here. Okay, my boat's been done as well. Let's send it away and see what we need for the next order. Hmm, I need to make more chocolate uh, cows. Okay, so you guys can see I have the farm visitors here. Now, they are going to pay you double amount of coins than usual. So for example, if I tap on this girl over here, she is shopping for her grandma and she needs one potato omelet and she's paying me 540 coins. If I come over here to the roadside shop and you know if I search, so here's the potato omelet and you can see one is uh, for 270 coins but two are for like 540 coins. But the visitor is paying you double the amount of coins which is just one for 540 coins and I think this is such a good deal. So of course girl this time you're not asking for saws and X's. I'm gonna sell this to you. Now, of course, the products are going to depend on your level. They're not going to ask you for something you haven't unlocked. So I think these events are better if you are a little higher at the level. So you have like more potato products. Let's see what does Mike need. Wow, one big potato for 600 coins. Okay, let me search uh, for the big potato and we can have a look at the price. So we can estimate how much profit are we going to make from this event. Yeah, so that's almost double. So you're getting like 50% profit on this uh, event, and I think this is such a good deal. All right, Mike, there you go. Enjoy your baked potato. Now, what do I personally think of these events? I think they're kind of fun. Um, They're a little creative as well, but they're not so worth it. It's not something that's like very exciting or like you're going to make a lot of money. No, I think the amount of coins is going to be very normal. Now, the visitors' events usually take a lot of time and energy because you have to, first of all, you have to prepare. And secondly, you have to constantly come back in the game to sell them the stuff. So if you're a busy person like me that, you know, doesn't usually come into the game a lot, these events don't really matter so much. But nonetheless, it's a good event. It's something new. So I'm excited and I'm sure there's going to be like more uh, types of days in the game in the future. Okay, so I guess I'm going to wait for more visitors to come and then we can see what other products are they going to ask. All right, guys, I'm back and let's see what do these visitors need. Hi, Greg, how are you? Oh, you need butter. What's up? We're not having a butter day, we're having a potato day, so why are you asking for butter? Sorry, Greg, today's not your day. And Mike here is asking for 10 potatoes for 720 coins, which is, again, the double price. I think you sell um, 10 for 360. And unfortunately, I don't have potatoes on this farm, but I kind of wanted to show you guys what items are these visitors actually asking for. We have Greg again, and he's asking for the potato feta cake for 620 coins, and obviously I'm going to say yes. Greg, there you go. Enjoy your cake, and thanks for the coins. Now, to be very honest, I am not a fan of these events. First of all, I don't need coins, so for me this doesn't even matter that much. But I mean, of course, if you guys are looking for ways to make money in the game, this could be a good event. And secondly, I do think this is kind of boring. It's not as creative as it should have been. 
or maybe it could have been. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of simple, but it's not a bad event. And I do like when the team tries different things in the game. Okay, I'm going to show you guys all the potato products you can possibly make in the game depending on your level. I just want to mention that this chart is not mine. I didn't make it. I got it from the Discord. So the credits go to the original maker of this post. Um, you have baked potato, casserole, potato fatted cake. You guys can also see the levels. Uh, potato bread, shepherd's pie, fish and chips, fish soup, cabbage soup, no key winter veggies, potato soup, bacon fries, um, broccoli soup, potato omelet, mushroom salad, samosa, and lastly, you have the winter stew. And you can also check their price. For example, the shepherd's pie is for 280 coins, but the visitors are going to give you a double coin, so that's going to be 560. And you can have a look at the ingredients and, of course, the machine where you can make it. And in case you didn't know, Haiti is also doing a little giveaway on their social pages. They're asking you to share your potatoes. Basically, it could be a potato drying, your best potato in the kitchen, or some of your favorite potato dishes. So go ahead, comment there, and you could be one of the lucky winners to win 25 diamonds. And with that, I think I'm just going to end the video here. That's all about the highly anticipated potato day in the game. Uh, basically, the farm visitors are going to ask for all the potato things, and they're going to pay you double price. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of these sort of events? Uh, do you like them? Do you think Hedda should bring them more often, or you would want some other events? Show your feedback in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already for all the fun Hedda content that will be coming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.